Hi, this is Austin Nakatsuka, and what I'm demonstrating here is a really quick and efficient way to rotate a toric astigmatism lens, or any lens for that matter, with the IA or irrigation aspiration tip. And first here, I just want to show really quickly, so what I've done is I'm aspirating out all of the viscoelastic, so I'm taking it all out, so there's little to no viscoelastic left. So all that's left in here is just fluid that's running through the irrigation aspiration. And here what I'm doing is I'm rotating the lens with the irrigation aspiration tip and I'm doing so with little movements suctioning down on the lens and I'm rotating and I'm making little movements either clockwise or counterclockwise. The way it works is if I move my tip clockwise to the right, the lens moves a counterclockwise to the left and vice versa. When I move, um, the, when I rotate my tip clockwise or counterclockwise to the left, the, the lens moves to the right. And you can see that right here, it's moving that way. Um, and now I'm moving it backwards here and I'm rotating um, the lens to the left counterclockwise while my tip rotates clockwise and it goes back and forth. And that way I can move that lens in either direction that I want and align it exactly where I need to with the marks for my, um, uh, for my toric or astigmatism lens here. This happens to be a MX60E Invista lens and you can see the markers just like that. And you can see that it rotates very quickly with just a few rotations of the IA tip. And I'm suctioning down on the lens with my irrigation aspiration. This happens to be an MST tip called the Allegro with a little curve on it and you're suctioning down or aspirating down onto the lens with the opening um, of, the, of the tip on the lens to rotate it just exactly where you need to in place. And this is great because especially when you have a situation where the lens is rotated a little bit past the markers where you need it, sometimes you need to back rotate it and the lens typically doesn't want to go that way if you have viscoelastic in there if it's already deployed. And so if you have just fluid running and you use this technique, it'll go backwards. It'll go backwards to the left counterclockwise and can go directly in place. And it's really quick and easy. You already have the viscoelastic out already. You don't have to do anything different. You don't have to go back in and out of the eye. You just have your IA that you've used already to remove the viscoelastic and then you just rotate it just like that. And uh, this is just a quick and efficient way to get the lens exactly where you need it to be. So I just wanted to demonstrate that. Uh, thanks for watching my video.